Hey Tribe and Laker here. In today's video, you're gonna see my live interview with Swan from South Africa. He was working in the army. He was just basically like a soldier. He was sent from South Africa to the UK and then he was like one of these, you know, huge guys with guns running around fields and stuff like that. And then he was like, hey, I want to start a business. Screw that army stuff. I just want to run a business. I want to become a location independent entrepreneur. And he did that. And now he's thinking of moving to uh, Vietnam, traveling to Bali. He's right now in the UK, but he is taking off his business to a new stage. He elevates this whole thing. And now he's, you know, basically on track. So in today's interview, He's gonna share with you some basic tips if you're still living in your country if you still have a job that you don't like just like he did and you're thinking how to start this is gonna be very relatable because he have just achieved that like literally a week ago he started having his business on track and now um, it just works so watch the whole thing he's a member of our tribe he will share all the insights with you All right, we're live. Hey, Sven, this is um, this is Matt here. Hey, Tribe. Today we're gonna talk with uh, entrepreneur from South Africa. Again, we had another one a few days ago. Um, John, now uh, it's Sven, who's um, older member of, uh, of of our our tribe, even older than uh, Sean. Um, since a former soldier from uh, Sweden to the UK, serving the army, and then decided, hey, I want to start a business. Sven, can you share your life story briefly? Yeah, man. Uh, from um, South Africa, starting your business, traveling, UK journey, all these crazy things that happened over the last uh, year or two years. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, can you hear me all right? I think it lag, it's lagging a bit. On yeah, my I can life. hear you great. Okay, cool. Um, he, here is good, yeah. Here is good, so you can just go ahead, don't worry. Okay, sweet. Yeah, so um, yeah, I was in the army for around six years. I am stationed in Germany, always traveling around. But like uh, like anything else, it's a normal job, a normal salary. And you're like so limited into how much money you earn. And then after a few years, you know, like any person, you forget about what you can do in life because you get used to your 2000 pounds a month or whatever it is that you earn and you plan your entire life around it. And that limits you to maybe one or two big holidays overseas, international and it limits you to so, so many things. And, you know, and it's just a, a never ending cycle and you work and you work and you work. And then what happens, you get a pay rise of what, like 100 bucks. <laughs> it's nothing. So, this got, um, this got me thinking and I started looking for ways to do business online and to be independent of location. And um, I was searching online and I found a few things online that turned out to be pyramid schemes and stuff that didn't really work out for me. So I kind of, you know, thought about trading and going into this forex trading with, with things. But obviously, being a, being a soldier at the time, not computer handy in any way, um, completely out of my league, that stuff, uh, because of the amount of time and learning that you need um, and the, the financial investment. It's a substantial amount if you really want to start doing that. So eventually I stumbled upon the tribe, you know, and uh, I watched the videos and, um, and yeah, after a while, then I think, yeah, my first interview into the in for, for acceptance in the tribe was with yourself. And from there, you know, uh, we joined and that's when everything started changing for me because now I was free in time, independent of location. And at this point, I wasn't making any money yet. I was only learning. But of course, after being told, told, told what to do by a boss who didn't like and doing this and that and every day doing like maybe out of 100 things you do, you know, 97 of them are for other people instead of for yourself. You know, this was great because I was learning the, the way business works, all the pillars of business and, and um, you know, so 
I started implementing what, what I learned in the business and it's literally in changing the lives of me and my girlfriend. So for the last three months, we've been living in, in Europe and going up and down Germany for, for a little while, been traveling to the Alps and working wherever we, we get the chance to. And uh, like, like uh, two weeks ago, we just decided, okay, we're going to move back to England. I've got a house here. It's going to be summer now. So yeah, that's it. We apply normal working hours in, in our days and stuff. And uh, yeah, we're going to start um, planning the world. So you plan. both uh, work remotely? Both of you work whenever you guys want, wherever you guys want? Or how does this, this work? Are you like both uh, digital nomads now? or? Um, I would say uh, in the beginning, I would, I would say it's not, it's not like you can just um, float around f through life. No. That's the one thing mm -hmm. that got me from transitioning out of a steady, a structured job with orders and everything mm -hmm. else into working for myself and becoming like essentially my own boss. You know, that was the kind of a tricky transition. The, the first month is very easy because you motivated and you discipline and you stand up early and you watch the videos and you learn and learn and you implement that day and, you know, you start getting results and you see success. And then after a while, this what, um, you find it easy with the new freedom to start slacking a little bit, you know, or slip up here and there. And now this is a mistake that, that I made and I'm happy I made it early. Uh, I'm over that and through that now because um, I learned how important it is to implement or stick to your routines, morning and night routines, okay? Vital, vital, vital. Even on days off or days that you're not doing business and stuff, but it's not... It's not at all the case. It's just about working whenever I feel like working because, you know, <laughs> then I'd probably never get any work done. But it's definitely entirely up to me how I schedule my work hours. Um, but I do schedule it because the things that get scheduled, they get done. So for me, I typically like to structure my, my working days uh, early with fitness in the morning, come back, shower. So my morning routine takes about three hours. I get up at like 6 a.m. and I start working at 9 a.m. And then I continue all right through the day and then around lunchtime, you know, break, get back into it afternoon. And then, um, yeah, for me, the structure works perfect. Um, but... Um, Sven, um, can I just interrupt you with, with, with a question? Because you're one of the most... Um, Maybe not, Maybe not one of the most successful of members of the tribe, but you're one of the guys who got results very fast. Um, is it uh, what, 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 what did you do to get results so fast? I'm, I'm always curious. Um, is it work ethics or are you like straight to the point when you're talking with people or is it like sales or what do you think? <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, so for me, I've never, before I joined the tribe, I never ever sold anything, like any, anything crazy in my life before. I didn't realize that actually sales is a set of skills uh, that you can learn and that you can improve and you can always. So for me, I think communication and also it's a, it's a, it's a step forward into some, something completely new that, uh, that I've never ever done before. So. It's about, you know, taking that mental mindset and mental readiness for something good in your life. Many people, they aren't really ready to accept good things in their life. It's like you can actually, it's about habits and it's, it's just about a, man, a type of mindset. So for me, when, when this opportunity came, you know, I've been looking for this so much. And as a, as a South African, I don't know if you know the politics in South Africa, but it's very, very discriminant against white people and stuff. So that's the main reason why I left my country to go international and stuff. And I was always bound to some rules or sets or laws or discriminated in this. So when the opportunity came to me, this was, this was like the stairway to my own heaven on earth, you know, and I was going to climb it and there's nothing going to stop me. So um, for me, I would say the, you know, eagerness to learn and implement daily and just getting over a few confidence things because you know i'm not like a technical savvy guy i'm good at meeting people or talking with people it's a very natural thing for me 
um, it was a bit strange in the beginning doing it digitally, you know, and being able to set your stuff up in, in a digital way. It's not, you can't really touch the stuff in the screen, but after you get used to that, for me, it became quite, mm -hmm. you know, quite easy. It's about communicating and, and building a level of trust with whoever you communicate with. And uh, so, so what was the difference? Like, you say it was awkward as the beginning to do business online because you're talking with people over the camera or Skype or you're just like approaching customers online. Uh, how did you handle this is, like initially? Because it's different than like, you know, real life relationships. How did, yeah. you, how did you handle that? Yeah, so it's not, um, it's not like it's awkward or weird or anything. It's like we all know about it and we all talk to our friends all the time. Um, to me, it was just a mindset about realizing how it works and like for instance in a shop if you go to buy a car you know the car dealership man is in front of person you can see him you, you know he's real you, you know this is not going to scam you so it's easier to invest some trust into a strange stranger that you've just met because he's, he's really in front of you and um, it was just a mindset of learning how things work online and how to present yourself and make yourself credible you know or everything that we learn in the tribe and, and how the tribe sticks together and motivates and pulls you through. And, you know, um, it's just about how to frame yourself and how to give other people on the other end of their pieces to look at you online and to realize, okay, that Sven isn't a scam, scammy guy that's going to steal my money or <laughs> for that or lie to me about something. I mean, that's just the thing. Um, yeah, I say also... Um, honesty is the best policy and if you can come across like this to people and this is the mm -hmm. way business works you know it should be done in a mutually beneficial way and um, mm -hmm. succeed you know <laughs> how, do you, how did you apply how did you apply army related stuff in business you were working for the army you were soldier how did you apply army related stuff um work ethics routines how did you apply all this in in business was it helpful or uh, it's completely useless uh yeah i would say in my sense there's uh skill sets from various various places in, in in any type of thing that you can apply to it because the main main thing actually um alex told me as well the other day on a call how funny it is like because i Became a little slack in halfway through, you know, like I said, um, didn't follow my schedule so strictly and I slipped up here and there. Now I started really focusing on building habits and this is army. It's through and through. It's structured, orders, discipline mm -hmm. and routines. But even way back in the old days, you know, a farmer had to get up at 5 a.m. to go see if his cows are all still alive because if he slept in until 10, you know, he might wake up and his half his cows could be gone or stolen or dead or stuff. So basic principles, routines, and um, especially, you know, a mindset to not give up. The mindset to drive through persistence prevails, you know, and mm -hmm. communication. And the more and more and more I've started learning about business, the more I realized about myself, my own personal communication skills and the way I perceive um other people when they speak to me and my ability to actually sit and listen to when people speak to me. So it came to my mind that it's again, it's um, in business, it's a bit different than what it was in the army, but the psychology is always a big, big factor. And we're all humans and we relate to each other and we communicate with each other. And to me, communication, psychology, and, you know, wanting to, wanting to solve a problem or create a solution for a business is that is that is the main motivation behind behind this and that's what's driving the success the success is going to come anyway as a as a um, what do you call it as a result of of that I understand so i'm sure that when you were work when you were at the army you had some tough times i i have no idea i've never been there but i imagine army is rather tough place uh <laughs> where they wake you up in the morning 6 a.m and they say like hey cold shower um did this help you with uh <laughs> with with um hard times in business because you know let's let's face it like business is not not just you know flowers 
and roses and candies and and whatever rainbows it's 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 more like hustle approaching clients dealing with rejection thickening your skin um was this applicable in in your in your business life as well yeah definitely um yeah one thing i didn't uh, realize about business online it's not like it's easy because you're doing stuff on a computer and your hands don't get dirty while you're working and stuff it's actually in many cases um a lot it's a it's very very time consuming and especially for me um, because i have to research everything before i have to do it the first time so as well as in any other situations where we you know something some some job could go really quick and perfect and smooth and everything fits into place really easy but you know sometimes your piece of equipment breaks and now you can't use your machine to do it anymore you have to do it by hand and this one hour job takes you now 10 hours and a lot of manual labor and push through and you know you your body gets worn down you get hungry tired sleepy everything mm -hmm. else in between but you have to go through and finish this and it's the same for this things there online they don't always work out your approaches don't always succeed um there's a lot of tries and it's a lot of speaking um, to people or you could uh, possibly like I, this happened to me as well. Um, the first person I ever hired to to do something for me messed the job up completely and also crashed my uh, client's website. You know, so um, that was a that was quite a big one. So I learned. Okay, this is a big big thing. You know, uh, I had to go so much back to to sort all this out, and it made me realize that in business. Things can go wrong at, at any moment. You've got to be prepared to put in a, a little bit of extra work here and there um, to sort it out. And um, especially make sure that as you do this, to learn along the way, you know, always learn along the way as you go. So, you know, next time around, you can spot the, the things that could go wrong and you can avoid them. And Sven, um, when, you're, when you're running a business, uh, does income uh, fluctuate a lot or is it rather stable every month? Mm, for me personally, um, I, I haven't had a stable month in, uh, in, uh, in business. I had very, very, uh, my first month was good, was a result. And in my second month was sky high rocketing over 10 K in revenue. And then from there, I like I stole slacked a bit and I definitely the revenue dipped a bit and then I started picking it up and now I'm fluctuating up and down. So um one of one of my earliest calls uh, in the tribe was where you actually advised me to don't take this revenue for, for granted now, save it, put it in your and and hold mm -hmm. it for the bad months and that's exactly what's uh, been pulling me through some of these dips, you know, that came and, and go. No, I think it might uh, be. Are you? You I have. <laughs> rather, rather not. Um, okay. Uh, so, um, mm. UK, German. That is really like you're like. Hey, let's go to the UK, and then you're like, hey, let's right. go to Germany. Are you planning to go somewhere else, or what's your plan? Yeah, so at the moment, basically, the plan is to start um, automating the, the first pillar of business, which is, you know, the things that everyone, you, this what the course and the tribe learns us in the, in the course all the way through. So I'm in the process of trying to automate the very first pillar of, of my business, and um setting up something new and as soon as that's done i suspect it in the next in the next few months i should be stable um on that and then me and my girlfriend are actually gonna go to our um, i think lisbon we planned first but portugal we're gonna move to portugal and then i want to go see spain after that <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's lagging a little bit here, Matt. Oh. 
Yeah, it's breaking up a little bit. Okay, let's see. Is it is it working now? Yeah, I can hear. I can hear you now. Okay, it was. Okay, it was a little disconnection. So is also running an on to run the online business, an online business, or 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 what's what's her spiel? Uh, can you repeat that question, please? Sure, sure. So I was, I was an also runs an online business. Are you teaching her? To run online business so you guys can be like both uh travel entrepreneurs or what is her spiel and approach to that yeah um so she she's known about the business and everything that i do and we speak about it all the time so she also knows uh members in the tribe that i've become friends with and so but she's a it specialist and she's um being she's busy working on a project um encoding something that we um, are working on a, well it, the idea came out of me doing business to her and she's busy being coding some 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 uh, how do you call this some type of a plugin or a tool that will be beneficial for for business people that do business online and hopefully we'll get this ready in the next mm. uh, six months and then uh, we can license this out <laughs> that's the plan so you guys are working together Mm, I wouldn't say together. We tried it once because she's so good on the com computers. I outsourced one wow. job to her. Um, but working together in the relationship also, it doesn't, it's, it's not something we want to continue to do and work together and live together, travel together and everything. So I'm doing my thing, <laughs> doing her thing, got a little space, you know, got to make sure of that. Um, so what, what, what are the, um, we don't, we don't, uh, what are the strategies are, uh, currently in, in your getting your customers? I know you do some sort of emails, you, you do some approaches. Can you give, can you give some brief vague idea to guys here? How do you usually get your customers? Um, yeah, so actually there's, there's two different sources that I, that I use, or actually mainly one. Um, one is uh, actually just uh, letting, letting, looking for and identifying business people on, online and then letting them know about who I am, what I do, and, re and recognizing problems that might be occurring in their business and then letting them exactly know actually making them a, a video of myself explaining to them hi i'm sven letting them know exactly why i'm in contact with them and how i could possibly mm -hmm. um, solve this business issue out for them and then i send this out to them um and you know i get get a the response we we get in, in contact like that and then from there it just goes into the whole process mm -hmm. yeah so video proposals actually work yeah, very, very well. For um, This is actually one of the big things that that I think um, some members in the tribe were quite hesitant to do in the start, um, which I just thought, wow, this is an amazing idea. I, I saw it from, from one of your videos. I thought this is great. And to me, when I watched it, it already sold me. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, I'm going to use the same. And it got me success, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm proud of myself then that this uh, idea actually works. Um, okay, that's awesome. Um, and then you do some kind of emails as well, or or what was the second strategy? Yeah, so the second one is like a type of a type of tool that we we find, and then giving giving business people a little type of an audit on their business, and then sending out emails to them about just notifying them that things aren't as good as what they can be and that they actually are missing out on, on loads of business opportunities by not leveraging all the different and various platforms there is. And then if they, if they were interested, they can get in touch with us and we can just consult them on this and uh, take it from there. Mm -hmm. 
So we would say that it's better to base business on at least two funnels, not just one, right? So that you have some stability in terms of lead gen. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, especially if you're using, um, if you aren't, if you aren't, if you aren't um, already having a business, if you are busy freelancing as a stepping stone to building a business, you know, some of these things and tools and platforms that you might be on are unreliable because the people that use them on the client side, they don't always use it correctly. Um, they don't always follow the instructions correctly. They might, you know, prompt for experts and not, <laughs> you know, not budget for, for them properly or anything like that. So more than one funnel, if you, if you can find the time and manage it properly, it's highly recommended from my own experience. Yeah, definitely. And, and, and I have this interesting question that I have prepared uh, specifically uh, specifically for you. Uh, so um, usually usually I wouldn't really ask this question to anyone, but for you, you're applicable army. Uh, <laughs> you're the strong guy, right? <laughs> you're like the strong guy, usually, right? Like people like strong guys, like go to the gym, this thing it's okay for guys to be like, a little bit shy or what's your approach toward masculinity and femininity in sales and business in general um, I think it really really doesn't uh, I think it's not against or in the benefit of any, anyone I think it's a completely neutral ground every person um, it's in my personal experience on on doing business online. It's a lot more what makes it a lot more fun uh, for me than than anything else that I've ever seen or, or tried to do it offline. Right? Is offline you do get discriminated in the workplace against women or men or better at certain roles because they are men or because they are stronger. Now in the in the army, this can be true, you know, because you know physical strengths and stuff like that. It matters, but like in business, it's not always um, about where, which university you went to, or you know what background are you coming from, what first language are you speaking, or anything like that. Or if you have long hair, short hair, or a beard, or anything, you know. If I was in a corporate job, I probably had to shave my beard now, but I'm never going to shave my beard again because I like it. So for me, this is like neutral, and I would say that anyone that could um, if you if you offer a real solution to to a business or or solve a problem for them value uh, value mm -hmm. yeah and if you can bring them value and really really help them you know and if they can afford you they're going to be more than happy to work with you it doesn't matter then who you are as long as you can be trusted you know so i would say definitely that doesn't count against people or for people <clears throat> Interesting. That's exactly what toward other guys I had on the day said exactly the same. Bring value to other businesses. Then they will pay you and then your business is gonna work as well. That's yeah. very interesting. And I'm gonna wrap this up because we are a little bit over the time. Um thank you so much for your uh input. Uh for the guys here. I'm sure a lot of guys uh, benefited. Sorry guys for not answering your questions today. Um uh, we just went through through the most important things with uh, with Sven. Uh, and uh, if you guys have any questions on how to join the tribe, you can message me on uh, Facebook or comment under this video. I'm gonna instruct you. Thank you so much, Sven. Yo, yeah, well, mate. Anytime. Yeah. See you soon. Ciao. If you want to get more tips and advice on starting your own business, go to madlaker.com. There is free content, everything is free, much more stuff than here on YouTube, everything is written down, there is blog, there is all the information, step-by-step -step instructions, how to turn your freelancing into a business. So go to madlaker.com and I see you in today's video and tomorrow's video.